Hi. So this particular video is with regards to cat count. So what if you're weak in count? How do you improve basically? Okay, a lot of students do find that they're a little weak in count, and then they do struggle. But the problem that comes out here is they start with a negative attitude, and that creates a problem because then they do want to improve, and then they do it becomes very difficult for them. But to be very frank, it's not difficult to improve even if you're weak in court okay there are steps methods which i'll tell you about it follow it but the first thing is you should believe in yourself that you can improve that's very important let's start so what does being weak mean so being weak does not mean that you cannot improve you can definitely improve okay and uh, i have known many students who are weak and who improved with hard work and right materials etc i give you two or three examples before we start with the methods okay first is i had a student okay who had done his bms from bombay university and he was really weak in count i mean in my class he used to score the minimum in the test that i should give in the class i mean actually the minimum okay so what he did so he really worked hard on it what he did is he went about picked up a book called rs agarwal and he saw all these almost all the sums in that book simple sums but that helped him to get create a base of it we also have extra lectures for students who are weak in maths he started setting for those lectures to get his fundamentals right once he finished that then he moved on to the cat level sums cat level books and started solving from there formed a group of friends learned from them and he scored really well in all exams minimum 95 percentile in count in every exam that he gave okay which includes cat includes zat includes everything so the, from the level what he was to the level he improved was amazing okay he went he converted i am udaipur he converted sibm pune okay in the end he took up sibm pune so he took up i am udaipur i have one more student at that time who had got both option he took sibm so this student took i am udaipur and did really well out there also second example okay this is a art student um uh, who had given up saying that well, max i am not able to get grasp itself given up so we told just give one more try i mean he was ready to take admission to a college which uh, did not require any entrance examination but we said just give a try you can always get into a college which doesn't have entrance exam so she tried initially her scores in the mocks were negative okay very difficult it came up to a single digit like three marks four marks etc but found very difficult slowly and steadily she said let's like, pick up little easy sums and pick up a few sums and get the marks her marks improved to two double digit and it take care she tried different methods tried to improve on her methods and that helped her in the actual exam she scored a 80 percentile in cat in the con section overall she scored a 95 plus so maximize the score in verbal clear the cut off for uh, the con section she got calls from number of ims she converted mdi gurgaon and was so that's the story basically so third again example one more student we given up her studies art student matlab she took a break came back again she took a break saying i couldn't do it again came back so happened twice or thrice in the end she managed to pick up easy sums gave away her efforts didn't uh, matlab was able to get calls from ims and got into am rota and there are many such cases people getting into different good colleges this uh, in spite of being weak in mathematics so it is not that you cannot improve but don't stop trying that's very important keep trying better methods if you have a group try to form a group and that will help you so how do you know if you are weak in maths so some people feel that okay i am not able to solve a few sums therefore i am weak in maths look in the actual examination you are going to solve few sums there is no hard very few people can solve all the sums in the examination in the given time frame so in that case not knowing few sums if you become weak then everyone is weak so that's not happen so what is important is if if you don't know half of the sum is perfectly fine if you can solve even half the sums in the lod one sums it's perfectly all right okay it's only when you're not able to solve most of the lod one sums in the cat books the easy sums in the cat books you're not able to solve most of them then it's a problem or if you're not able to understand any theory from the book that you're solving then you also you're weak Look, it is also possible that you are weak in one topic but strong in another. I have known people who are weak in geometry but strong in arithmetic, so on, or vice versa. 
So that it doesn't mean that you are weak in all topics. Identify for every topic, find out whether you're really weak or you can still solve it. Okay. And then work on the steps that are required. Mm -hmm. So what, how do you improve on that? The first step, if you feel that your fundamentals are weak, then go to the school math book, maybe from seven to 10 or whatever for the topic and get your fundamentals of the topic correct. It'll take time. If you have a time, you can do that. Okay. Go to the book, school books, get your fundamentals, right? Just glance through the seven to 10 as every day and get the topic. Suppose you don't have time, say you're already in month of June, July, and you don't have time to go to school mathematics books completely. Then directly go to RS Agarwal quantitative aptitude book or any banking exam. No, I'm not talking of this specific book or any banking exam concepts and practice sums from there for whatever topic you find yourself weak. Okay. So solve sums, practice sums, keep practicing sums. You need not solve all the sums, but practice how much ever you have time. And once you finish that, then you can move to LOD one sums of the cap. Ignore LOD two and LOD three for now. Look at the actual exam also, you will try to clear the cutoff. So out of whatever questions are LSA 34 questions, you may just pick up six or seven and manage to clear the 80 percentile cutoff. That should be suffice if you get six or seven correct. So the key is to focus on the easy sums learn how to pick up the easy sums and solve and don't break your head on tough sums look because you already wasted a lot of time on rs agarwal and this so going to lod2 sum lod3 sum which may not be lod3 is normally not very relevant for cat not help as such so it is okay to solve lod1 sum for right now from cat notes you can come back later on for lod2 lod3 but you can follow these methods if you have time go to school max book if you don't have time then directly go to rs agarwal or any banking exam con sum books then solve the LOD sum, one sum for CAT notes. Do a topic wise test and that should suffice. You may not be a master of a topic, but at least you will get a fundamental understanding of a topic, which is sufficient for you to solve some of the sums in CAT. Look up, if you're weak in max, the main aim is to clear the cutoff as far as max is good. I've also seen students who are weak in max have scored 99 plus percentile in the CAT examination and done really well, or all examination. That is also possible. You can convert your weakness to your strength also if you put in the efforts, right? So follow the steps. I'm sure this will help you to get your fundamentals right and to improve as far as possible. Thank you.